Okay, today we're going to just look at the subwoofer I put under the seat of this. This is North Star. It's got the enclosed cab, so it's obviously going to sound different inside the cab. It, it hits really hard. I had a an old 12-inch speaker. Uh, just built a box for it. I ordered um, a little connector from Rockford Fosgate. Hooked it up here around the RCA jacks, and on the adapter it had a remote turn on. So that's the only two wires I ran from the rack command. I hooked the RCA and the power and, and run them down underneath this, this channel here and, and, and come up. Uh, let's see. Pull this out. What now? What I did, as you can see, I've, I run the amplifier, which is inside the box. It, it does get warm, but I've run it for four hours hitting with no issue so far, it's, set, it's mounted inside the bottom of the box. Keep it all compact. Big power wires run to it. Uh, here's the RCA and here's my remote. These are the only two wires that run up to the ride command. And um, it, it works really well. It, uh, it added a nice addition to it. Uh, I really hated the tractor sound that it had prior to this, but now it has lots of bass, uh, a lot more volume. So, uh, Anyway, a, a couple of you have asked about that, but um, I want to say the little connector wire was probably 30 bucks. Uh, and it was pretty simple to do. Like I said, I had an old amp laying around that I played with when I was younger. So anyway, it, uh, it, it works out really well. But um, anyway, y'all have a good day. Thank you.